All right, so we're moving now from our junction box into our midnight solar turbine control box. Um, this control box ships with the Bergy XL1 48 volt model. So what we have here is our three phase AC coming into the box. That's three phase wild AC. Um, it's going to hook into these two circuit breakers. The one on the right is actually mounted upside down and this is just working as a stop switch for the turbine. If we want to short circuit the turbine and turn it off to do some maintenance, all we have to do is flip this switch down. On this side we've got our overcurrent protection. So our AC is running in through the overcurrent protection, out the top and into our rectifier. So here we're going to rectify from wild AC into DC power. So we've got our three wild AC leads coming in and then our positive and negative DC leads leading out. On the positive side, we've installed another over current protection circuit breaker. Um, that's going to allow us to isolate our charge controller if we want to do some maintenance on that. And then on the DC minus side, we're just going to go into the DC minus bus bar and out of the turbine control box and into our charge controller. You'll also notice that we have our grounding bus bar over here on the left side. That's the final grounding point for all of our electrical components in the control room. So this is going to be connected to our lightning arrestor and also to our ground rod installed outside the building. All right, so the first component we're going to talk about here is our junction box. So we've got our three phases of AC running from the turbine through conduit into our junction box. And we're going to connect these to our conductors that are running into the turbine control box. So first step is we're going to take our one of our wild AC lines. We're going to use these splice blocks. So just pop that guy in there. And we'll tighten that down. Now we'll take our conductor that runs into the turbine control box. Tighten this one down. And then last we're going to add our conductor that runs into our lightning arrestor that's attached just to the bottom of the junction box. So we've already done this for our other two of our three phase lines. And then we've also run a ground from our bus bar inside the turbine control box and attached that to our light and rest in the junction box as well. All right, so here we are at the Midnight Solar Classic charge controller. Um, so what we've got here is our positive and negative. They're running back to our battery bank and our positive and negative coming from the turbine control box. So, we can get down to the bottom here, you can see that we've got our positive and negative connectors labeled. And then we're going to hook up our positive and negative from our turbine control box. And then we also have our battery temperature sensor hooked up right beside that and that runs back into the battery bank. We'll show you that when we look at our battery bank. So here we have our 48 volt deep cycle lead acid battery bank. Um, these are 6 volt batteries, 232 amp hours each connected in series. Um, this battery bank is monitored by a charge controller, the Midnight Solar, which we just wired up. And the purpose of the charge controller is to monitor the state of charge of this battery bank. We don't want the battery bank to overcharge, and we also don't want the battery bank to undercharge. So the charge controller monitors the uh, level of charge, the state of charge of the batteries. Once the batteries are charged to their float, float charge value, um, the excess electricity is either dumped to a dump load 
either a heater or a fan, um, some sort of appliance, or in this case, it's sold back to the grid via this inverter here. So to wire up our battery bank, uh, from our charge controller, we have our positive conductor here, this red wire. The positive conductor passes through a fuse which was sized for maximum current draw and we added a 25% safety factor to get the right size fuse. This is actually a 60 amp 250 volt fuse. And passing through the fuse our conductor comes back out the other side and connects to our positive terminal on the positive side of the battery bank here. On the opposite side we have our negative conductor coming from our charge controller and connected right to the negative terminal on the opposite side of our battery bank. From the positive side here we have our inverter cable as well as the negative which connects to our inverter where the DC current is either inverted back to AC to supply power to your loads or sold right back to the grid for excess electricity.